Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Amanda and today's video is an after party clean with me. So I'm not going to be doing too much cleaning, but I am just trying to get the house back in order some. So basically just cleaning up after the party. This is actually like a couple days later from the party because his party was on Saturday and Sunday. I just did not feel like doing a thing. So the day after I decided to try and get the house back in order. So I'm just going to start off here in the kitchen. I really wanted to get the kitchen cleaned up because I also had a Walmart pickup order that I was going to be getting a couple hours after this. So I want to make sure that the kitchen was cleaned up. So that way I wouldn't get too overwhelmed bringing in all kinds of groceries. Um, I will also have a Walmart haul of the groceries I picked up. And then I'm also going to be having, um, later in the video, doing some balloon popping in my oldest son's last birthday video that I posted a few years ago that was kind of requested. <laughs> so I decided to put it in this video and I will put a warning in there before I actually do pop them because obviously that is not a sound everybody wants to hear. So again, I will give you a warning before that. But right now I'm just getting the kitchen picked up and getting everything wiped down. Now I did end up getting my cake stand down because I wanted to save some of the cupcakes from our youngest son's birthday party. His cake was so stinking cute. I'll put a picture of his cake that we ended up getting from Walmart. It was bluey and of course we had a bluey themed birthday party because that is what he literally loves right now and it was just so much fun. So I figured if we got them out of the box put them kind of out in, in the open that we would eat them. And um, they didn't look the best, but I got them out of the box and I got that big box off of the countertop. After I got this countertop put together, this was the time that I went and picked up the groceries and I will have that haul for you in just a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to show you everything that I got in my grocery haul. So starting off with the baby, he needed some more of the Aquaphor. Little toothbrush, since he does have six little teeth, we need to start brushing them. So I thought that would be a good one to try and then we picked him up some more baby food which he doesn't I didn't get very many because he kind of just eats basically what we eat so he just honestly eats these when he gets hungry and if dinner's not ready yet or we have something that he can't actually eat yet eggs sour cream we got a two pack of cream cheese um, for a recipe some milk bacon is for a recipe, got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs and some of the Tennessee Pride um, hot sausage and then uh, some wood glue, toothpicks, super random. I needed some more vanilla. Can we just talk about how expensive vanilla is? I feel like it's so much for this little thing. It was like $4, almost five bucks for that. I feel like it was only a couple, not too long ago, but I don't know. Um, some chicken broth, some of this ranch seasoning. I just got the great value because as much as I've been using some of this, um, I just figured instead of just buying the pack, I would just buy the big seasoning jar of it. 
adobos, ado, uh, chipotles in adobo sauce. Um, that's for a chili recipe, black beans, chili recipe. Um, got some kidney beans, tomato sauce. And then I got four cans of cream of chicken. They did have these for a dollar. So I just ended up getting these instead of the four pack that they have. Because it's like a little over $5 for the four pack. So I saved a little bit of money there. Um, got my oldest some chocolate donuts. Some mild cheddar cheese. Frozen corn. And um, some of these hash browns. I'm going to try and make the viral TikTok uh, potato soup with this. Um, that will be in my Crocktober video on Friday. Some onions, which we haven't been using our onions as much, so I think I'm going to use my chopper, get these all diced up and freeze them. I thought that would be a good idea. Um, milk, I don't know if I said milk. And then I got this Hershey um, syrup for my oldest son. It's no, um, sugar, zero sugar added. So I've been trying to cut him back on sugar and he drinks chocolate milk like every morning and every night. He's like an old man. His chocolate milk is his coffee. So, so I wanted to get the, the zero sugar one and see if he can tell a difference or not. Speaking of zero sugar, I also got different juice boxes that have no added sugar in them. Um, and then I got some of these. They're new muffin bars. We have to bring snacks for the soccer team this weekend. So I thought this would be good to throw in there with the other snacks. And then, of course, my oldest son loves dill pickle chips. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get all of this put away. I'm going to go ahead and um, use my veggie chopper over here and use this horrible steak knife because my other good knives were in the dishwasher running and I know you're not supposed to wash those in the dishwasher but um, I do every now and then so but I'm just going to try and get these cut up here I did use like a paper towel that was wet while cutting these onions because I've always heard that if you have like a wet sponge or anything that holds moisture while you're cutting onions near them, that, that onion that burns your eyes, whatever, whatever that is, goes straight towards moisture. And this day that did not work for me, um, because I was actually wearing my glasses this day. So I didn't have my contacts in. And I tell you what, I don't know how many times I had to walk away and, um, like my eyes were so bad, like they were watering, um, they were burning. I had to keep taking my towel here and like rubbing my eyes because they were just, oh my gosh, it was so, so bad. But when I have my contacts in, like, it doesn't bother me like that. Um, cause I always have like the wet sponge or wet paper towel or something and it doesn't bother me. So I don't, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me with having the contacts in and with them out, but this day really was bothering me. But I went ahead and got all this chopped up and put them in freezer bags. And yes, I made a horrible mess putting them in the freezer bags, but um, this has worked so much better. So now I'm not afraid of our onions going to waste.
buy my ticket, I pick up the phone. I'm calling to tell you that I'm coming home. Now I'm just going to go ahead and finish cleaning up the rest of the kitchen and then I'm going to move on into the dining room. I found that photo in the sofa And it's from way back in the one So I guess there's much I never told you so now we're going to move on into the dining room here and I took some streamers and twist them up and just use thumbtacks to stick them on the ceiling here. I am not obviously like the Pinterest worthy um, decorator for parties, home decorating, anything like that, but I do try my hardest that I can and you know, I would love to decorate like that. Don't get me wrong and <laughs> that would be absolutely amazing to throw those big, huge, extravagant, Pinterest-worthy birthday parties. But I don't know how those people do that. I don't know if they get planners. I don't know, but I do what I can. <laughs> and for this being my son's first birthday party, he seemed to really enjoy it, and that is all that matters. But I will say it totally breaks my heart because I wanted to make his own birthday cake because with my son, my oldest son, I always make his. And I remember my grandmother making me birthday cakes that had the Barbie doll sticking at top and then she would decorate like it was like she was wearing a, a dress that was made out of cake and I thought those were so stinking cute. And so with me trying to make my son's cake and I literally failed twice making it the day of his birthday party and it totally broke my heart. I want to make the, the duck cake that bingo wanted for her birthday party and i don't know what i was doing wrong but it just kept breaking on me and i tried not to let it bother me but honestly it did um since it was his birthday party i just tried to not think about it i guess but it really did bother me that i couldn't um make his first cake for him but at least we were able to get a cute one from walmart for everybody which is just fine, but yeah, maybe next year I'll be able to make a cake for him and then obviously have cake for everybody else. But I just, I don't know. I like having their own special cake for them. Um, but anyways, um, I'm about to show you the um, living room here soon. It is a complete disaster. Like it looks like a tornado literally went through it. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> and I will have some balloon popping in here. Now I said in the beginning that some people requested it from my oldest son's last birthday video that I posted a couple years ago. So I wanted to put it in this one. I will put a timestamp right here of when the balloon popping starts and when it ends. So just a forewarning here that it will start here in a couple minutes.
So now the balloon popping was over and that was super fun. I was actually enjoying popping the balloons, but I did want to save the rest of them here for my son to pop when he got out of the bathtub because he was super excited to pop them as well. Um, but now I'm just going to go ahead and try and get this whole living room cleaned up and do all the things with picking up the toys, organizing, taking the balloons down, putting the blankets up, all the things. Call you when the sun comes up Just to hear the way you say my name It reminds me of when it was us Would you answer if I called you? Yeah, I know I know that you think it's so important to convince everyone else that you're not boring, but it's making me feel like my skin is crawling. I keep pouring out my empathy to someone I don't even see eye to eye with. I don't mind if you don't have it all together. Yeah, I get it. We are all human, but I give you an inch and you take miles. It's tragic, ruining my sanity with tales of animosity. I Just to make 
yourself feel just a little bigger I don't know if I've seen anything that's sadder It's so hard to comprehend how you don't even understand Stepping on me without even trying Never seen somebody get so good at lying It's impressive you don't spend all your time crying Over all the ways you let me down So many I could drown but Took my sanity and sent it up the wall Typical emotional, it's so unoriginal I gave you the best and you just took it all Drowning in the lost emotion Crying like some kind of ocean from my eyes But I got up out of the hopeless 
Yeah, I got over you last night. Wasn't it easy to believe I would be broken forever? Thought I would never see the light. You didn't need Go down the drain So now that that is all done, I'm going to bring back down my decor here and put it back on the um, entry table here. And like I've mentioned so many times in my videos, I am not a interior decorator. I'm not like Pinterest worthy or anything like that, but I do try my hardest here. And I actually keep forgetting to put my thrifting haul in a video, but this, those candlesticks and that little phone there, I absolutely fell in love with that phone and my oldest son loves to play with it as well. And I just, I absolutely love it. And I keep forgetting to put that haul into a video. So I will try and do that soon though. And, um, because we also got like a mystery box type thing as well. And we got some pretty fun goodies out of there. So I will definitely try and remember to put that in a video. But like I mentioned, I am not a very good decorator, but I definitely do try. I would miss you forever Always be tethered to your love Grass isn't greener on your side You're wishing we were together But I'm not Just watch So now that I'm done sweeping the living room here, I'm going to go ahead and start sweeping the dining room as well and then move on into the hallway. And that's going to be it for today's video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it, got some motivation out of it, loved the balloon popping as well. I did enjoy it myself. <laughs> um, but that's going to be, like I said, it for today's video. Don't forget, I do post every Sunday cleaning videos and then every Friday I have been posting Crocktober videos where I'm sharing three delicious Crockpot meals with you. I have actually gained a lot of new subscribers since I started doing Crocktober every Friday and I'm honestly thinking about doing it more throughout November and everything like that. So just not Crocktober. Um, but just continuing to share recipes with you guys. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you have been enjoying that. My goal actually this year was to get a thousand subscribers and I'm getting so close to that. So I'm super excited. But yeah, 
So uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Conversation in my life feels so vacant Without you I'm just moving in between The sad reality No, I'm patient But I've been out here waiting For someone else to fill the void in me A harsh reality And I've heard you're with someone else While I'm here by myself Holding on to what you left was it all in my head when you said you love me? Cause no one can love me better.